Welcome to our 22nd Trader Chat. The date is the 14th of March 2012. My name is David Hickson and as always we need to start our Trader Chat with our legally obliged disclaimers. Here they are. The first disclaimer tells us that all trading involves risk. Please be aware of and accept this risk before trading and never trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. Secondly, you should be aware the past performance of any trading methodology is no guarantee of future results. I am making no representation in this webinar that any account will achieve profits or losses similar to those discussed. And finally, you should be aware that all results should be considered to be hypothetical unless otherwise specified. Hypothetical performance results have many inherent limitations and unlike an actual performance record, do not represent actual trading. A few pointers about using NetViewer. I see several new names there, which is uh, great. So a few pointers about using the software we use for the webinar. Uh, the first thing you should be aware of it is that the best way to ask questions is to type a message into the chat window. Okay. If you cannot hear me, um, then you should slide the speaker volume up in your NetViewer control panel. Um, that is separate to your system um, audio. So if you're struggling to hear me, then, um, then adjust the level of your speaker volume in NetViewer. Um, if you'd like to talk to me um, and you have a headset, then right click and please also enter a chat message saying I want to speak to you so that I can open up your microphone. I cannot open everybody's microphones, but I can open up to yeah, six microphones at one time. There is a bit of a delay, so that's not the preferred method. method. Um, also, please be careful of mouse clicks, um, brightly colored arrows and chat bubbles pop up um, whenever you um, uh, click with your mouse. I know somebody's turned on their uh, microphone. Let me just, um, let me just uh, uh, mute that for now so that, it, um, so that we don't get audio howl round. Um, uh, any click of your mouse will pop up a brightly colored arrow or a chat bubble, which is very nice if you're trying to make a point. It can be a bit distracting if you're not. Okay, um, just a reminder, we do these trader chats every two weeks nowadays. We used to do them weekly, but uh, nowadays we do trader chats every two weeks, and every other week we do what we call a signals chat. It's a chat specifically aimed at users of Hearst signals. Um, trader chats tend to be a little more a little more complex, uh, they're, they're more about using the software sent in trader, where signal chats are um, more about specifically working with Hearst signals. Um, and just another um, note about Hearst signals, if you are not familiar with our Hearst signals, then please go and take a look. Um, HearstSignals.com is the website address. They are um, uh, um, trading signals that are generated online and are delivered online. You do not need to learn how to use Sentin Trader. Um, uh, if you are a Sentin Trader user, we have many users who are also using Hearst signals um, both to um, corroborate what they're finding in the software and to um, and as a, as a secondary uh, sort of confirmation device. Many uh, users have indicated to us that they find her signals very useful as an additional um, as an as an additional tool in the Sentient Trader uh, sort of range of tools. So um, if you are an existing Sentient Trader user and you're interested in her signals, then let us know. We do have special offers for Sentient Trader users um, who are also interested in, in uh, um, taking advantage of her signals. Uh, there is also a review of her signals coming out in the April edition of Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities. So um, if you'd like to see what um, um, a third party objective opinion is of her signals, then make sure you get hold of a copy of Technical Analysis of Stocks and Commodities and read the review. Um, uh, uh, see what, um, what other people have to say about her signals. Um, there we go. Right, today. Um, we have uh, got a huge number of new users, particularly uh, new users who are now using our Analyst Edition. Uh, Sentient Trader, as you um, should know by now, comes out in two editions. There is the full Trader Edition, which is the full package, which provides trading information and trading advice and, um, and uh, lots of information um, uh, to do with both analyzing markets and trading them. And then there is the Analyst Edition, which is aimed specifically at people who want to analyze financial markets from a cyclic perspective, but want to rather follow their own trading methodology. 
and not use the trading methodology um, that's built into Sentient Trader. Um, so the analyst edition of Sentient Trader only produces an analysis. Um, there's been a tremendous amount of interest in the analyst version of Sentient Trader. And um, uh, as a result, we have a lot of new users and we're getting a, a, a lot of questions which we're, all, which we're answering, of course, um, via email and phone. But um, I thought it would be useful for today's Trader Chat to just to run through some of those uh, questions and answer them uh, in a public forum, if you like, so that, um, um, uh, so that more people can get up to speed um, a lot quicker without having to send us an email if they happen to have the same question. If you have any other questions, either simple um, back to basics, getting started questions, or if you have more complex questions, please type them into the chat window. I'd be very happy to answer as many questions as I possibly can today. Um, so without further ado, let's um, get rid of this window. How do we do that? I need to click that button. There we go. And um, let's go to Sentient Trader. There is Sentient Trader. Now, I have the Trader edition of Sentient Trader installed on this particular computer. Um, but um, a lot of the basic questions are um, uh, um, very similar between the Trader edition and the Analyst edition. Where there are differences, I will point it out in, in, in today's webinar and uh, talk about things um, uh, um, separately in terms of the different editions. But of course, I have, the, um, I have the Trader edition because I am somebody who's interested in trading according to the methodology using Sentient Trader. Uh, just as a matter of interest, if you want to know um, what edition you have installed on your computer, go to the Help menu, click on the About button, and it will tell you about Sentient Trader, either Trader Edition or Analyst Edition, okay? And you can find out uh, all you need about your license there. Right, so if you have any questions, pop them into the chat window, and I'll do my best to answer them. But in the meantime, I have a very long list provided to me by our support staff um, of um, uh, uh, particularly uh, prominent um, questions that have been coming up, um, particularly from new users. Okay, um, so I'm just going to uh, start going through them. The first thing that we get asked uh, very often is, what data provider should I use uh, for working with Sentient Trader? Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's an obvious uh, question that many people consider before they even um, get to start working with Sentient Trader. Uh, first of all, what type of data can Sentient Trader work with? Well, if I click on this button, which is Add New Chart to Workspace, then uh, you will see a list here of the different types of data that Sentient Trader can currently work with. Uh, that is ASCII data. ASCII data is basically um, um, data which is formatted using the ASCII convention, which basically means um, I see it as it's, it's data that, that you can actually read. Um, uh, you know, you don't need a, a special tool to read the data. You can open an ASCII data file in, in Notepad, for instance, and you can see the data. It uses real numbers and it uses delimiters um, such as commas or semicolons to separate the different data values. That's what ASCII data is. ASCII data is widely available. And in fact, most data providers will provide data often in their own proprietary format, and they will also offer you an ASCII data option. So if you already have a data provider, if you're working with some other um, technical analysis software and you have a data provider, you will often find that your data provider does provide an ASCII option if it doesn't provide any of the other options that Sentient Trader can, can read. Okay, that's ASCII data. Um, Metastock data, Metastock is a technical analysis charting software package um, and um, uh, it, of, of long standing. It's um, used widely throughout the world and many data providers provide data in Metastock data format. So Sentient Trader will read Metastock data format. As long as your data follows the rules of Metastock data format, um, then Sentient Trader can read it. Okay, um, DT and IQ feed um, is a very reliable data provider, particularly for real-time streaming intraday data. If your interest is working intraday, in other words, you want to see the data come streaming into your charts, um, and of course you have the, the intraday version of Sentient Trader, then um, DT and IQ feed is probably the data provider that we recommend the most um, highly. Um, we have no um, um, kickback from any data provider, so, um, so uh, um, you know, our recommendations aren't tainted 
by by the fact that um, you know that we we get any money for it. Um, but we use DT and IQ feed for many of our signals services. Uh, we find the data very very reliable. It comes through very clean. Um, it's always uh, available and accessible, and Sentient Trader can read it. Okay. Um, if you have an end of day version of Sentient Trader, you can, as a matter of interest, still read DT and IQ feed data. Um, because there are some people who um, perhaps use DT and IQ feed data um, for their trading platform, um, or, or they, they, they use it for trading purposes, but they don't want to perform intraday analysis, which is fine. In, in that case, they work with an end-of-day version of Sentient Trader, and you can read end-of-day data from DT and IQ feed as well. Um, the uh, next f uh, uh, form, format of data that Sentient Trader can read is MetaTrader 4. Now, MetaTrader 4 is primarily a Forex trading platform. Sentient Trader is unique, um, as far as I'm aware, amongst software packages in that it can read MetaTrader 4 data. Um, MetaTrader 4 um, um, enables live streaming data to come into Sentient Trader, and Sentient Trader can read the very important historical data. Okay, in order for Sentient Trader to perform an analysis, it needs some history. It cannot simply start loading data now, um, because then it can't perform an analysis. You must you must have some history. And one of the questions I'm going to answer today is how much history do you need? Okay, I'm going to uh, get to that question a bit later. So Sentient Trader can work with MetaTrader 4 data, and um, and if there's some interest, I'll show you how to work with MetaTrader 4 data. Um, what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to create a chart um, using NinjaTrader data for reasons I'm, I'll get to in a moment. But if you like, I'll, I'll also demonstrate MetaTrader 4 data to you. Um, the next format of data that Sentient Trader can read is called IB or TWS data. That stands for Interactive Brokers. Um, Interactive Brokers um, is a brokerage company, and they offer data through their Trader Workstation um, uh, software application. That's why it's called IB TWS data. Sentient Trader can uh, read data from IB's TWS. Um, I see uh, hello there from Mahesh. Hi, Mahesh.